Our CAR T-cell program has been in existence for going on eight years now. And we're very excited to have now treated hundreds of patients. Going back to our very first patient treated with B-cell lymphoma for CAR T-cells. CAR T-cells are an engineered immune therapy where we take the patient's T-cells, which is one of the cells of their immune system, and modify them so that when we put them back into the patient's body, they can find the cancer cells and kill them on contact. So it doesn't rely at all on the patient's own immune system, only the immune system that we've engineered for them. UCLA is a very interdisciplinary and very collaborative environment, and it has a very strong medical system, but also a very strong research institution that spans both sort of basic immunology, engineering, and translational medicine. We also have the Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center, which has really played a role in bringing together different parts of the campus so that we can work efficiently together and really translate technologies built in our laboratory to the clinic for our patients. From the beginning, UCLA has had a bench to bedside and back again approach. We've been able to bring new CAR T cell therapies that aren't offered anywhere else in the world to patients because of work that's been done we can really have a holistic approach to patients so that they're getting innovative science really delivered in a holistic manner, the way that we try to deliver care here at UCLA. When we first started CAR T-cell therapy now eight years ago, we were so excited to see those early results. But now it's even more exciting because what we're doing is we're adding in layer by layer things to add to the therapy, additional drugs, additional immunotherapies that are making these therapies more effective and safer so that we can offer them to more and more types of cancer and offer people long-term remissions and maybe even cures. We know that there are going to be ups and downs. There's other types of support that they're going to need. So let's you know, get them cured, but also do it in a way that's really humane. And then at the end of it, you know, they feel like they've been truly taken care of through the process. It's a tremendous honor, quite honestly, to be able to develop therapies that go into the clinic and, and just so gratifying to see that we are able to bring benefits to patients. Cancer is a very challenging condition to have for anyone. And we are always working as hard as we can to try to come up with better therapies that are both efficacious and safe. Our hope is that we can make steady progress towards finding cures or long-term remissions for these patients. Some of our patients are being cured with these therapies, so we want to increase that number. We're proud and excited to use these new uh, cell therapies to treat patients with cancer, but I can tell you that we're not satisfied until all patients benefit from this. Day by day, year by year, we're coming up with new angles to make this therapy better for every patient.